Welcome back to the Wizard Shop and today we're going to talk about the tale of the two blue manual Audis right after this. Say what? Two blue Audis. You are putting these two cars in the same league. I guess they're the same color, uh, well, same parent company, I suppose. Yes, Audi. But this is a gated manual V10 mid-engine supercar. And this is a manual 2.7 by turbo the, with I, that I have to open with pliers. Oh, okay. Ah! Uh, uh, that's the worst. Uh, Your that's, eyes. That, that's, that's the worst engine. The five uh, valve 2.7. Yeah, the worst engine Audi's ever made. 250 horsepower. Uh, when it works. When it works. Oh, these this one terrible. amazingly has 186,000 miles on that it. That has to be a record. They're fun cars when they work, but this engine killed a lot of Audis. A lot, a lot of Audis. Well, thankfully it hasn't killed this one yet. No. Not yet. We're going to put it on the lift. The customer has some complaints about motor mounts, a leaking CV shaft boots or something along those lines. We're just going to give it a good look over on the lift and see what we find. Good luck whoever owns this. Your brave soul. Okay. Yes. All right. Better keep my pliers around. What did you find there? There's a beanie baby. A beanie baby? A, a faded frog beanie baby. That's kind of odd. Yes, very odd. I don't know what that has to do with an S4 Audi, but... Uh, well. A common theme with the S4 Audi is uh, these seats, uh, boy. It looks like Taco Tuesday yeah. again. Heavy, heavy flashlights tore this up. I don't even know why I'm touching it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has the golf ball though. Yes. Yeah. The golf ball manual. 186,000 miles. That is incredible. It is incredible. The clutch actually feels good. Mm. Starts right up. It runs well. Yes. I think that's why he wants it fixed. Oh. Yeah, okay. it's really not in that bad of shape, huh? Yeah, as we look around the sides, there's no there's no rust holes, it's not dented, it's not scratched up or beat up. This car's actually pretty decent for the amount of miles it has on it. Hmm. It's a cute little car. Sure. Yeah. Cute little nightmare. Four rings. We could see that. All over parts on that car. Thank you. Yes, yes. Obviously, they're, they're the same parent company, but yeah. this is still an Italian supercar. <laughs> well, this one's not a supercar? It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's super something. Okay. Did you drop your golf ball? No, he had a spare one. That one looks like it's seen a better day. Yeah. That's pretty rough. That's, uh, that's a lot of wear. It's 186,000 miles of gear shifts. What do you think we're going to find under here? Lots of leaks. Lots of leaks? Amazingly, there's not. This this is crazy town. The belts are pretty decent, but yeah. I've never seen one this nice. It's crazy, isn't it? Never, they weren't this nice when they were new. I've looked this one over just briefly, and I, I remarked about how the... It didn't have a bunch of leaks either. Wow. It's got a brand new oil filter, so it's been serviced regularly. Probably why it's lasted this long. So he wants you to do mounts? Yeah. These? They're, those are the two transmission mounts. Okay. And they're kind of flat. And then there's engine mounts right here. See the rusty bolt? Oh. There's well, one on the other side. It seemed to idle just fine. Yeah, but he's just kind of little, he just wants it done. It's a little bit rough. It's a little harsh to him. Must be picky. And then there's a fifth one. A five? Yes, it's right Five here. Five engine mounts. Right here. 
It's the front mount. Oh, because this thing's sideways, so yeah. the, the flex of the transverse mounted engine. Yes, that makes sense. I remember the 3800 Buicks, they had it mounted up high, and when those would go bad, the engine would just dance around in there. <laughs> yeah. And that one's all cracked up. You can see the cracks all in it. Yeah, I suppose. So he wants all those done, and then you can see there is a leak here on the boot. It's all gooey. Ooh, yep. Nasty. We'll go ahead and check the rest of this wheel. It's kind of gunky. You can see gunk from the leak yes. it has. Yes. Well, the other side looks worse. Go to that side. Oh, oh yes. Lord. Look at that. What do you think about that, Mrs. Wizard? That looks slimy. Yeah. I think Dave should taste it, taste it and tell us what it tastes like. Oh, yeah. Look at that tear. What does it taste like? Like an oil spill, like Exxon Valdez. How do you know what the Exxon Valdez spill tastes we, like? We won't talk about that. <laughs> okay. Nothing's loose there. It's probably cheaper just to replace the CV shafts than it is to mess with the boots and everything. Run into that issue a lot on cars where the boot is torn. And yes, you can just replace the boot, but when you pay my labor to pull it apart, put it back together with a new boot and the price of the boot, you have spent the same amount of money as just buying a CV shaft and replacing it. So there's real no advantage when you're paying a shop to do it. If you at home are going to do your own boot, then it does come out cheaper. Not if you pay a shop. So you could just drive it into the ground until it starts clicking and making noise since you're replacing it anyway, right? Yeah, you could if you want to. Okay. <laughs> Good advice for hoopty owners. <laughs> Transmission's dry. There's a tiny bit of seepage, but there's nothing that you can even taste. You can't taste that one. There's nothing there hardly. No. Uh, the exhaust is kind of rusty right here. But it's that's to be expected with the miles that are on it. What year is it? 2000. Jeez. 2000 Audi S4. We're old, wizard. I know. Remember when this was new? 2000. I was just getting out of the army then. Wow. Look at this differential. It's really long. It is long. It looks like a little transmission or something. It does. And the CV boots back here. This is all-wheel drive. These ones are nice and dry. Nothing loose back here. The brakes look good. Amazingly, it's pretty good shape. Yes, it's a miracle. An absolute miracle. 20 years old, 186,000 miles. and Obviously taken care of, are very, very blessed. Uh, but now, Wizard, I think I want a tour. Your yacht. Oh, you want to tour the yacht? I want to see the yacht. Well, I've got to get this fixed so I can pay for the yacht. But I, we could go take a look at it. Sure. Well, that wraps it up on the S4. We're going to get all five mounts replaced. Those CV shafts. There's also a temperature sensor that's gone out. We're going to replace that for the customer. The price of it is almost the value of the car, but he wants it done because the rest of it is in such good shape. And I agree with him on that. It doesn't make sense to skimp on it when the rest is in such good shape. So, Hoovy's over at the yacht. He's really excited to check it out. Let's go over there and see what he thinks about it. Ahoy, matey! Wizard, I'm flying! You're flying? I'm flying, wizard! Well, don't get the anchor caught up in your legs or anything. No. It's, it's a giant, giant yacht. What do you think about it? It's crazy. It's wide and it's short. It's kind of short and girthy. It is very girthy, yes. Uh, the hole could use a little polishing, though, that's for sure. Definitely. Hmm, but the bones seem pretty solid. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Yes, Junior Mint's been busy. Well, that's why it was uh, $6,000, huh? We're going to do a video here pretty soon dedicated to just what's wrong with this engine. But, yes, it is a part, and we have found out what's going on it's with it. It's huge. That's the biggest four-cylinder ever. I know. Look at those pistons. It's half of a 460 Ford. Gee, many. Well, Lots of torque. Lots of cabin space, too. It is. You're going to have the whole family in there. Yep. You Cruising. And Mrs. Wizard don't even, you and Mrs. Wizard don't even have to spoon. There's lots of beds. <laughs> there is. Yes. Lots of sleeping areas. Do you like spooning with your husband? No. I didn't think so. Yeah, you're kind of probably really warm. Yeah. You probably run hot at night. Yeah, yes. I do. Yes, I've cuddled with you a few times. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What do you think about the flybridge, the helm up there? It's have you seen fun. the helm? I, that's like a proper fishing boat, yes. Yeah. Uh, 
going to be hot without some kind of canopy, though. You may think about doing something like that. Yeah, I need to get a bimini top up yes, there. Yes, a bimini. Bimini, but plenty of seating, yeah. too. People can come up there, you know? Mm hmm Yes, you could host a whole Texas bikini team on this thing if you wanted to, I suppose. Or have a wild party at night. Yeah. Wild but, party? But we need Mrs. to get Blizzard? that... No? I don't think so. Okay. No. We need to get that fixed before we do any wild parties. I suppose. That yes. one runs perfect. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't. Well, you got a project. Now you have multiple yachts. Multiple yachts. You need two yachts, wizard. I wish I had two yachts. You have two yachts. No, I have one. You have two yachts. <laughs> so a lot of the tools that Junior Mint has used and a lot of tools I use in the shop is on my Amazon affiliates link in the description below. You can check out everything there. And Some of you guys have purchased a lot of tools already and I really appreciate that. I get a small cut out of it. If you haven't hit the subscribe button already, you might want to do that now. What are you doing? I'm all playing with stuff. Oh. Sorry. Yes. Hit the subscribe button now. We've got many more cool projects to come. And there's going to be a video on this engine very, my, very soon. Oh, thank you. I got my finger dirty. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's ticklish. I didn't realize he's ticklish. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we learned. <laughs> <laughs>